climate change. Um, not really all that depressing, I think. I didn't pay much attention about it. Oh, it's not overly important to me now. I haven't really thought about climate change in a while, actually. Climate change? I don't know much about the topic, to be honest. Yeah, just that it's happening. <laughs> Climate change is undoubtedly the greatest challenge our generation faces. We stand to lose our way of life. Uh, in our generation, we could see half the species on this planet faced with extinction. We could see billions of people without adequate access to food and water, um, increased extreme weather events like bushfires, floods and droughts across this nation and across this planet. My name is Kirsty Albion and I'm from the Australian Youth Climate Coalition. The Australian Youth Climate Coalition is Australia's largest youth-run organisation and we're building a generation-wide movement to solve the climate crisis. Right now, here in Australia, we have all the technology we need to be able to transition Australia to 100% clean energy, powered by the wind and by the sun and by the waves. Um, but there still remain um, companies who have massive vested interests in coal and oil and gas they're really resisting that change. We're going to get together hundreds of young people from across Melbourne, from schools and unis and workplaces around Melbourne, bring them to Fed Square for a big event with um, politicians from um, Greg Hunt's agreed to speak. Um, we're going to have Greg Combe sending in a message, Mark Dreyfus, um, Adam Bant will be speaking, we'll have climate scientists, um, David Crawley, and we'll have young speakers inspiring all these young people to take further action on climate change. <laughs> we're here at Fed Square and we're so excited that the event's about to start. people from all sides of um, politics on the panel, from Labor and the Coalition and the Greens here. We had a climate scientist, we had a person who works in business and they talked about the current climate policy and the current climate scientists. But overwhelmingly, I think the most inspiring people in the room were definitely the young people. Definitely think that, personally, that the impact that humans are having on it is escalating that process. Uh, I think it's very important. Yeah. People like to live, you know, kind of ignorant to the fact that it's easy to disregard it, I guess. Um, but uh, it's important. It's very important. Important regardless of whether you believe in it. You should. <laughs> I'm frustrated at the fact that it's not politically recognised. It's like short-term losses but long-term gains. Like, it's so important for the future to consider right now. 
Come what may out of the policy decisions that are being made in Australia this July, we know that young people will continue to build in their schools, in their communities, having these conversations about climate change and building pressure to, so that our governments can't continue as business as usual. We know that it's going to take big changes to solve the climate crisis. And we know that young people are willing to do that work and they'll be using their creativity, their passion and their skills to create this new future that they dream of.